What's up gamers? GamerDad here. This is a guide to help you complete all the week 10 weekly quests. If you've not done so, please do subscribe to my channel. First up, drop the hammer assault rifle. So I have a quick tip how to easily do this one. You're going to head over here, west of Rave Cave, to the 7 outpost, and you're going to get the hammer assault rifle from the NPC, The Imagined. So you'll find her wandering around this path right here, and she will actually sell you the hammer assault rifle. So you obviously need to have some gold here. You can also pick up this rifle off the ground or from chests, but I don't like to waste my time. So I like to get items from NPCs when I can. So you need to buy it from her. And learn from me here, buying it from her does not constitute picking it up. So I initially just dropped it here and was kind of like, what the heck, where's my challenge? But drop it, pick it up again. And then once you pick it up, you can then drop it and the challenge will be complete. So there you go. On to the next challenge. You can do this right from here if you want. You can head over to travel in a baller while on the water. You're going to head over to the rave cave. So if you came from where I just did, I used the rift at the outpost and rifted over to the rave cave. But to that location right there, it's a baller station. There is two ballers here in the very beginning of every match. So it's good to do this one early. Head into this baller, hop on the track, and it's going to take you this way naturally you don't even have to head that so once you get on here it, the track will pull you that way once you get close to that river you're just going to launch yourself off of the track and then just head into the river here you can do this however you please but you just need to stay in the river and just keep going down so i just go all the way down here as i get to the rave cave and just to avoid any drama with people shooting at me and destroying my baller once i get really close to the rave ba uh, rave cave i just turn around and come back up stream and eventually you'll nail this and it'll be done this is one of the most easiest challenges uh this week the hammer dropping that hammer assault rifle is probably easiest this is the second easiest Seems like a, a long time to really do this. Like, I don't understand why they couldn't have just made it, you know, much shorter, but hey. So, on to the next. This one is damage an opponent with a DMR without aiming down sight. So, keywords without aiming down sight, remember that. Head over to the 7 outpost here, north of Logjam Lotus. You're going to do this because you can get from the Paradigm, you can purchase the DMR assault rifle. So again, I like to do things the easy way. Of course, you can find a DMR in a chest or on the ground, but I like to pick it up here. Come here. Now, if you notice when I was coming in and you can see in the background, there's a rift there. So you're going to rift over to this lake here. This is one of two options I'm going to show you. In this case, there is almost always a shark outside of Logjam Lotus. But as you'll see what happened with me here, I rifted, I head over to that lake, and what I would do is as I'm coming in, I'd be looking for the shark to be swimming around. So that's what I'm doing right here. And I'm like, come on, where's the shark? And quite quickly, I'm like, are you kidding me? The shark is not here this time. Of course. So if you do happen to come here and the shark is not here, do not fear. You're just going to go south of this lake right over to Loot Lake here. If there wasn't a shark at the other one, there's almost certainly going to be a shark here. So aiming down uh, without going down sight on the DMR, it's not dead simple, but it's not hard. Uh, I tried to do this while swimming in the water, and I found it awkward because it's a little hard to see where you're firing with the water in your face, and you know, unless the shark's right in front of you, um, it's a bit of a challenge. So just come up on any object, find the shark, and then again, just nice and close, lay some shots into him. It really drives me nuts when it takes a while for the challenges to register, but so I just kept shooting here. Not sure what was happening, but as you can see, after a lengthy delay, there we go. That challenge is now complete. Now stay here because you can actually do the next challenge here. So to damage opponents within 10 seconds of dashing with a zero point fish, coming to this loot lake is a great place to accomplish this. Why? Because you can get zero point fish off the ground if you're lucky. Within coolers, you can find a zero point fish. Or, of course, you can get yourself a fishing rod, go to a fishing hole, and it shouldn't take too long um, to get yourself a zero-point fish. So I'll demonstrate all of those here. So it, I'm sure you're familiar with it, but these are coolers. 
Every other time I've been opening coolers, zero point fish have been coming out of them like no tomorrow. So I thought for sure there would be a zero point fish in there, but there was not. So then there are many locations around here with fishing rods. So just head over to this area here or any other area on the lake, grab yourself a fishing rod. You'll see the fishing hole right there. You can see the waves and you see the fish fly, uh, swimming around. Cast in there and reel in some fish until you get a zero point fish. They look just like this. Take the zero point fish. Now, again, you can do opponents if you like or other players, but keep it simple. Go find this shark that you've already shot a few times with the DMR, hopefully. Ingest that fish. Use the, the zero point and just boost yourself once and then just start unloading on the shark. It's that easy. Again, another challenge done and complete thanks to Mr. Shark there or Mrs. Shark. Next up, damage 10 different objects with one spray of the charge SMG. So in my true fashion, I recommend going to the gas station here. This is southwest of the sanctuary. That's because Panther is here and Panther will sell you the charge SMG. Now, I wanted to show this for my video just in case, but you'll also probably have noticed I did just walk past a Charge SMG. And is anyone else experiencing this? I find it so hard to buy items from Black, uh, Black Panther here, or the Panther, so I should say. But I was thinking of Black Tabby. But once you get the Charge SMG, you can get it in a chest, on the ground, or from Panther. Head over to this little restaurant just on the opposite side of the gas station you were just at. And I'm recommending it here because it's much easier to get 10 objects within one spray of the Charge SMG. So just make sure that you're, see here, you can see all these tables, chairs, there's the wall, there's that bookshelf. So start here, fully charge up um, the SMG. You're gonna have to hold it down for about three or four seconds. You'll see the red fills and then just spin around and make sure you do that and the challenge is complete. Up next, we have bounce on a crash pad, a bouncy slurp, shroom and an off-road tires in a single match so to get the slurp mushroom you're going to want to come into a uh, slurp shroom you're going to come over to reality falls land at the gas station there loot the gas station and see if you get lucky and find the crash pads because the crash pads can be found on the ground or they can be found within chests so if you have no luck here like i did this one time head over towards tilted towers here's the first place you're going to find the bouncy slurp shroom there were a bunch over there closer to the gas station and by the main chalet but i'm recommending you come to this one here then you're going to using an animal is also great then you're going to head over to the gas station just south of tilted towers if you didn't find the off-road tires or the crash pads at the first reality falls gas station here you'll see this is what the off-road tires look like you'll find them at this gas station out of the two gas stations you're almost assured to find these you could, there's also some tires inside these gas stations. If you chop them with the pickaxe, you can also turn them into the tires there and then you can use them to bounce. So lastly, here's the crash pad. So again, you can find the crash pad on the ground within a chest. So once you've got that crash pad, head out here, throw it down, and then have some fun bouncing off this crash pad. And at this point, the challenge will be complete. And if you want to, you know, you can have some fun, boost the animal around with that crash pad. Pretty hilarious. So last challenge, eliminate a player with the first shot from the prime shotgun. So I'm going to recommend heading over to Coney Crossroads here. And that is because Beach Bomber is in here within the ice cream shop. And she will sell you da, 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 the prime shotgun. Also, make sure that you're in a duos match when you do this. It's going to make it super easy. That's because... Within one shot of the prime shotgun, and it says the first shot. Does that mean the first shot fired off the gun? I'm not positive, and I didn't want to find out. Or is it just... I, supp I suspect that it is. But just look for a either knock down a player, or as I do here, I actually stumble upon a knocked player, which makes it super easy. So you either knock somebody down in duels, and then take one shot with the prime at them, or get lucky, find someone who's already been knocked, lay that one shot into them, boom, challenge complete. So that's it. All the week 10 quests are done. I hope that's helpful. Please drop a like on the video. Please leave a comment. And most importantly, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate the support. Gamer Dad, out.